Hey there, Leo. Hope you guys' week has been treating you guys well so far. Appreciate you guys so much. You guys hear noise in the background. My my dog and cat are trying to play fight here. So, all right, Leo, let's find out what you guys are getting today. What messages are coming out right now for you guys is highest good. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo. Tell me about Leo, babes, please. Leo. Tell me about Leo, please. Leo. Rejection. Two more. Grief. Illusion. Certainty. Somebody is trying to come back towards you and fill your head with illusions here. But this person's got some rejection issues. This person has a fear of being rejected in general. And they definitely don't want to hear you say no to them. You don't trust this person. What's the overall energy for Leo, please? Regret. Somebody is regretful for what they've done. The way things have played out between the two of you guys. And a lot of you guys regret letting this person come into your life here. But we're not going to sit there and, and um, look at it as, you know, poor me. We're going to apply the lesson and just look at it as, okay, this person came into my life to teach me something about myself and I'm going to apply the lesson and move forward now. This person is figuring out how they want to try to put you in illusions to try to make you feel like you've made the wrong choice by leaving them behind. Yeah, they're worrying. Somebody is worrying that you're no longer in this energy of overthinking things and worrying and analyzing everything you're not doing that anymore somebody is, is trying to figure out how to get you back in that energy of making you feel like you made the wrong choice you're learning that worry doesn't change an outcome so that's no longer like sitting there and racking your brain and just keeping yourself in a mental conflicted state just it is what it is type energy you can't fix this person they don't want to change but you can change yourself you can change the way that you are showing up in this person's life and you can definitely um exit the whole situation and just make room for better things to come in which clearly that's what you've been doing here so let me get one for leo angels have come to you so earth angel energy i'm picking up on for you guys today you guys have your angels. They come to you whenever you call for them. They are there. A lot of you guys have a, a guardian angel that's been around you since you were born here. So this guardian angel has been protecting you. And some of you guys are the angels here. So you've got your protection here. To get close to nature, to enjoy freedom. So there's just something here about not just not listening to the gossip and, and not listening to what outsiders are saying because it's almost like this person was trying to fill other people's heads of how to view you because they felt rejected by you so they wanted to make you they wanted to like retaliate like try to make you view be viewed bad focusing on what is important at this time wishing on a star so there's definitely something here that you want for yourself here and then it is what it is with that swing on the moon trusting your intuition and just letting things flow in your life guys people want to walk out and leave let them go if you're being called to exit the situation do so but just trusting and knowing that better things are lining up for you and just just being with within the flow with the universe not trying to resist it or trying to force things or hold on to things just letting it go letting it be that's good some of you guys replenish in nature some of you guys journal, sit outside and journal. There's something here about gossip. The naysayers. Don't listen to the naysayers. I keep wanting to tell you that. There's something here about gossip with this person, this other person that I'm picking on. There's something up about gossiping and slandering. Ignore it. Love, trust, and happiness. That's what you are. And this person is trying to figure out how to get you to view, you, view them back in this light again of trusting them. This person knows that you desire love, trust. You can't trust this person. So they're trying to fill your head with delusions and try to try to get you to trust them again. But I, you don't, there's, there's too much uncertainty with what this person's done to you. And be that hero. So this person likes to show up and try to um, love bomb you. They like to show up like they can just, like they're going to take away everything. And they're just going to be there for you. And just, this person likes to show up like, in a big way like I feel like this is how this person even got you to the, from the get-go it's like they showed up in your life like this white shining armor they were gonna take away all your problems and just 
you know, they, they wanted, they were everything that you wanted them to be in the beginning, but then it all started changing around and you started seeing this person for who they really are here. So this is about you being your own hero in your own life. There's something here about the way that you're no longer showing up for this person as well. So this person likes to play the hero, but I feel like they're the villain as well. They, they like to, they flip the script on people, but they like, there's something about the community with this person I keep getting. So there's something here about this person has the community and outsiders fooled by them being this hero energy. But, you know, this is someone that will, oh, I saved that person. It's all about back to them. Like, it, as long as it makes them look good, they'll do it here. But this is about you being the hero in your life now. Some of you guys could be um, nurses, doctors, lawyers, just humanitarians, police officers, just do-gooders, wanting to help out the, the world, just ready to, um, to, to make that positive shift in the planet here. So you guys are part of this collective where you're really wanting, um, to raise the vibration and you realize by raising your vibration, you help raise the planet's vibration. That's good. Yes, that is correct, guys. Let me get one for Leo. Artistry. I embrace my artistic abilities and creative talents. There are gifts I have to share with the world that only I can provide. So that's that hero energy. There's something here about you raising your vibration and it helping the planet. So you guys have a an artistic side. There's some kind of create creative abilities that you have and you're meant to share these gifts with the world guys and only you can provide them so tap into that um your passionate side what what ignites your soul here guys and then purification so you know how to alchemize here so you can turn your pain into power here so a lot of you guys you could be like painters um songwriters poem writers you could read tarot like i do but there's something about you taking all the darkness that you've had into your life all the 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 situations that you've encountered and just alchemizing that into something beautiful here that's that a earth angel energy here as i purify my space it gives me a clean slate so i can feel things of a higher vibration and that's what you're doing i keep getting that it's all about you raising your vibration at this time guys keep doing what you're doing it's working i can feel your energy it feels good keep doing keep going relationships so yes and see that's what that where that card that came out um oh this one love trust and happiness and there's that relationship here so this is about forming a better relationship with yourself and this is about knowing that you deserve better connections than what you've been dealing with so you release old emotional wounds and it opens a door for you to embrace love to the fullest here so new relationships and this could not only uh, be with love connections it could be friendships even family dynamics this is just wanting better relationships in general for yourself here so releasing these old emotional wounds that's part of that um that alchemizing here guys tell you about rejection somebody feels rejected by you but this is someone that made you feel rejected see queen of cups this person feels rejected because you love yourself make that make sense this person sees that you're trusting your intuition you've been sitting here just alchemizing all that pain and turning it into your power some of you guys are meant to turn your pain into profit here as well guys but this person knows that you're not going to go for it because you're sitting here just trusting yourself you've been alchemizing all that dark energy that's been thrown your way especially by this person and you're just chilling minding your business just being at with in that it is what it is energy just letting things flow into your life guys it's beautiful 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 tell me more about rejection so somebody's trying to come towards you with this loving energy though you're not minding this person any business tell me tell me more rejection the high priestess i'm telling you there's something here about your intuition as well this person knows that you can see through the bull crap here. You see through the illusions. You see through the deception. That's why you're staying quiet here. And somebody just can't handle your quietness. You're gifted. And that's something here about your gifts where you alchemize your, your pain, guys. I keep getting that for you guys. So this person knows you ain't going to go for it because you, you see it. You already know what this person's about. And you can see that they're still up to no good and they're still being secretive. This is someone trying to come towards you with this loving energy. And this person's doing this because you're in this queen of swords, guys. Very sharp-minded right now you are. Being more logical. Cutting out the bullcrap and the nonsense. So this is about not letting people 
make you feel some type of way, like not needing anyone to validate you at that matter. This person's trying to come in a loving manner because, again, you are in this where you're not to be played with. Some of you guys could be dealing with a same-sex relationship. Don't have to be. But this person wants to talk. This person's hearing about your forward movement. There's something about gossip with this person, too, that I keep getting. This person tried to say some nasty things about you. Oh, well, pay it no mind, guys. This person is just projecting because that's how they feel about themselves. So, forward movement. And this person's trying to figure out how to communicate with you. So, the, you, this person sees your finances, something with your money here too. So this person sees that you've been minding the business that pays. So you're, you've been focused on your stability, the foundation here. Just you want a better connection. And this person wants to try to show up for you now, but you're not going for it. So this person's trying to figure out how to... It's something here about their lustful energy. Trying to bring the passion back towards you again but this is someone that for some of you made this this person made you feel rejected because you found out that they were dipping and dabbing with other people here and you're you're not going to let this person come back for you there's something here about your your passionate hobbies that make this person feel some type of way too like so i'm telling you this this is somebody trying to come in here and mirror this energy here i almost feel like this person's tried to offer you this love before and it's like they're trying to come back here and and try it again like that fish out of water so this person's behavior is going to be very weird when it comes towards you and there and then i'm telling you something here about this person not taking accountability something about this person feels like too much time has gone by and they've got to like come running in now to, to try to get you back because they're worried about you meeting a new relationship which and i clearly am picking up on new like you're manifesting a new connection towards you guys at this time and this person will try to start arguments with you when you don't give this person the reaction that they're looking for then that's when they start trying to jab at you trying to to trying to make you feel bad trying to pull your self-esteem down is what this person likes to do to you it's because they feel rejected, so they want to try to hurt you. Tell you about grief. Grief. This person is going to tell you they're so lost without you. They love you. They want you back. And Four swords. So this person is going to tell you that they've been healing. But this person's playing some games. Somebody who's 45 years old, that's sticking out to me. But this person knows that you've done too much healing work. So this person wants to try to come in here and manipulate you and try to stay and do whatever they can to try to win at all cost here. So this person's like, when they, they're able to distract their mind during the day, when they lay down at night, that's when this person's really thinking about you. But you're not playing these games with this person anymore. You're keeping your silence here. And it's like this person plays the victim. And it's like they want to go around and just... I keep getting something about the community. It's like this person's going around and telling everybody how sad they are without you and they want you back, but there's two sides to every story. This is somebody that's not clearly not telling people what happened between the two of you because they only want people to see their side of the situation here. Tower. So this grief that this person put you through was an instant tower to shift things around for you so you could start making these changes. And this person wants to try to come in here like they have made some major changes in their life don't trust this person this person is trying to come back here and offer loyalty stability something about finances somebody is an opportunist for somebody here as well too there's the empress so i'm telling you this person's feeling the grief of your glow up you are sitting handsome pretty on this throne attracting everything your heart's desires towards you at this time and this person sees your glow up so they're trying to figure out how to get a new beginning that your glow up is hard to look away from and something here about your destiny, this wheel turning in your favor, all these awesome good karma coming towards you because you made these changes. And this person's trying to come back and convince you that things are going to be different this time. Things will be changed. Don't trust it. Tell you about illusion. The person has two sides to them. The world. Well, this person is really trying to figure out how to pull you back into illusions here. They want to keep you stuck in this, this vicious cycle with them. Some of you guys could be planning on traveling. Just being at a distance from this person. The more that you're away from this person, the more that the illusion fades away. So that's good. Keep creating distance from this person. Tell me more about illusion. Tell me this person is trying to figure out how they can run in here quick. And it's really like a fast moving energy. They want it now. This person can't handle that you're taking off away from them and that you're really gaining a lot of um, 
a lot of fast forward movement and this person can't handle it. So this is someone that will try to come in here and if they can't get the reaction they want, they're going to try to start an argument jab at you here. This person doesn't like that you're not sticking up for yourself. They're not used to you doing this. So continue to do that. So this person's trying to figure out how to pull you back in with lust here. This person's trying to figure out how to get a one night. Like they want to get you alone where they can like have sex with you. They feel like by having sex with you, like that's going to get you where they want you. And then I'm telling you, then they're going to try to come in here and try to manipulate you with their feelings here. Apology. Like it's this fish out of water. Like their, their behavior is going to be very odd because it's not who they are. They're, they're literally shape shifting into somebody that you want them to be. And they try to use the sex to try to, to pin it down for good. This person, <laughs> this person knows that you've got better things coming in that you want better for yourself. This person for sure thought they had you stuck where they wanted you. But again, they see some, some things headed your way. You, new options coming your way. You, you're calling in better relationships and it's coming towards you. You're calling in better things in general. And it's all coming towards you because you've been alchemizing all this dark energy. And you're raising your vibration. And you are clear, clearing that slate and bringing higher vibration things towards you at this time. So that's why this person wants to try to come in here and fill you with illusions here. The star. So they're going to tell you that they've been healing. They've been doing their inner work. Some of you guys are in the spotlight and um, like just getting a lot of recognition and just being praised. And this person's trying to figure out how to, to get you to view them in that light here. See, this person's really jealous on the inside. This is somebody who's envious. This is somebody that doesn't like that you are manifesting your dream life, that you're able to alchemize, that you've taken your power back and you ain't giving them nothing. So that's why they're trying to figure out how to how to get the control back on their side because they feel like you've got the control in this situation now. Something here about this person having a lack mindset, this person trying to, to, to spew that onto you still, trying to you know project, make you feel like you can't do things with your life when you clearly can. You, I already see you doing it in this read. Keep going. This is someone that will try like every emotion to try to get a reaction. And this is someone that will try to, you know, play the victim, try to get you to pity them. This person, for some of you, this person used to tell others, because I keep getting something about the community. This person would go off and tell others like, oh, I just took her back. She, she's like, they, like they're trying to do it. Like they, like you're a charity case, like, cause it's all about them looking like the hero. So they'll do anything that they have to, to look that way. Somebody's having some money issues. They're not doing good here. And there's something here about a child for somebody here. Somebody walks away from their responsibilities too. Talk about uncertainty. Uncertainty. This person knows you're not waiting around anymore. And this person knows you've got better things coming in. So they know that it's going to be like a miracle to try to even get you to... to to look at them the same way again your gifts are very heightened at this time the more that you're alchemizing and purifying yourself the more stronger that your guys's gifts are going to get so continue to do that time more uncertainty i'm telling you you've done too much work here and this person wants there's something here again about this person trying to make it seem like you're not doing all the inner work like you make it seem like you are like this person is trying to it's something about trying to get the, the out the the community the outside influence to look at you differently here this person is going to try to convince you that they have been changing and healing like you have here but you can't trust it this person knows that you're on to them but they still gonna try it queen of wands that's why you can't trust them because this is who they are a jealous person this is someone that very well could have competed with you when you were together you're not supposed to compete with your lover you're supposed to build together this is someone that will get jealous if you get a step ahead of them because they have to be the hero it's all about them it all has to be all of the attention has to be focused on them or they're not happy so this person knows that you don't trust them because you're very powerful right now you've taken your power back and you're not to be played with and you're very intuitive this person's trying to figure out how to get you to feel sorry for them. And this is about not letting this person and put you back in that lack mindset that they wanted you to be. This person's trying to figure out how to make you slow down. They feel like you're getting away from them. You're, you're progressing too much. 
This person was able to keep you stuck with giving you the bare minimum, and now they see that you're moving. You guys may have, uh, it was like a, a slow progress to get where you're going, but you never gave up, and that's where your resilience steps into play, guys. So continue to do that. You're very resilient, so moving forward, even if you don't feel like you're not getting anywhere, you're still celebrating every baby step forward, and that's good, guys. Continue to do that. So this person is still trying to figure out how to keep you stuck by trying to make something right here with you. Somebody is getting some bad karma for messing with you too, especially if you resonate as an earth angel here. So this person is trying to figure out how to make something right with you, but you just can't trust it here. Some of you guys could have got divorced from this person. Somebody may try to tell you that they don't want this divorce anymore, but there's something about the scales being balanced out. This person didn't want you trusting yourself, and you clearly are at this time. That's good. I've got water, I've got Pisces, I've got air, air, fixed energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, air, fire, water, fire, and Aquarius here. So you can't trust this person. They've done too much. This is like looking over your shoulder. Some of you guys may have um, had a lot of paranoia dealing with this person, but this is about no longer dealing with this bullcrap anymore, guys. So this person knows you don't trust them, and they are trying to figure out, look how she's looking over there. This person knows that you are going out of your way to ignore them. You don't want nothing to do with them, so they're trying to figure out any which way that they can get things to hash things back out with you. They want to rekindle. I'm telling you, this person's very unsettled. There's something here about this person trying to make you look a certain way, and it's not adding up. This person could be with others, and we're arguing with others about you, this person's feeling very unsettled about how your life is taking off and progressing and they can't stop it. They're unsettled because you've changed your heart space up. This person no longer has any, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like any, like persuasion over you anymore. Like you look at this person differently. You've changed your heart space. That's good. You want better for yourself because you've been alchemizing guys. That's good. Good, good. You guys are learning from this. How do you guys? Leo. Okay, so now this person wants to try to tell you, let's just be friends. Don't be friends with this person because you are currently uh, drawing new energy towards you at this time. And this is somebody that's very jealous and they will to get in the way of new things headed towards you. So some of you guys have somebody that you're currently talking to right now and it's friends that's going to turn more into lovers, okay, because you're manifesting this. Something about your past person going around and sleeping with people that they say that just friends. They've got friends with benefits, guys, and they're still doing this. Well, this is toxic, man. This is somebody that wanted you to be codependent on them. Wanted you to suffer from abandonment issues. This person's codependent on your energy. They're codependent on everybody looking at them and that hero. This person's got a hero mentality. And then they shift it to the victim mentality. It's all about redirecting back to them. It, whatever makes them look good, they'll, they'll do it. So this one likes to start arguments. They try to start fights with you. They, they try to just trap you. They're very selfish, this person. If somebody's got anger issues. Somebody could be physically violent, like putting hands on you. Um, mentally abusing you and things like that. That's toxic, guys. That's no. Something here about the summertime is significant. Something could have happened during the summertime. Some of you guys may have plans to travel during the summertime. Some of you guys are planning on relocating during the summertime as well. But something here about the summertime is significant here. This person's trying to figure out how to get you to chase them again because you're not doing that. You're not falling into the plan like. They wanted you to. So now this person's going to figure out how to chase you down because they know that this door is opening back up and you want better things for yourself. Some of you guys are already going back out on dates. So that's what you're wanting to do. But you've got this door opening up for new connections because that's what you're manifesting. And you got this past person trying to figure out how to get you to go back through that door with them again. Don't do it. Tell me more. This person's very emotionally unavailable. They don't know how to treat you. There's a disconnect here. This will be short-lived if you take this person back because they are going to show you the changes that you want to see and they will only do it for maybe like a month, maybe less than a month, but they'll go right back to the same actions that they were doing to you before. This person is doesn't know how to open up and be vulnerable. They don't know how to they don't know how to register emotions. Like there's somebody doesn't even have any empathy, so they'll never Put, consider your feelings because it's like they don't even can they, they don't consider anybody's feelings honestly it's all about them very selfish and something here about a sneaky link this person likes their sneaky links this is somebody that 
I'm telling you, there's something about this person trying to at least be friends in your life, but then they're going to try to, especially when they know that you've got new people headed your way, those person's going to try to do things to try to get you to slip up with new connections. That's why they want to try to edge their way in your life and be a friend. This past person of yours, they still got these sneaky links. Some of you guys, this person is still committed to someone else, and they want to try to come in here and sneak around with you. That's this person's mindset. Somebody's got some legal issues here. Somebody is for the streets. They like to run around the streets doing the most. Somebody's got a history of being um, in jail. Something about somebody having a violent record. Something about this person and their anger issues. Some of you guys may need to get a restraining order. Some of you guys have had to call the police over this person. A lot of domestic disputes because this person's very toxic, man. And they still out here doing the most. So this person is trying to come back and move you fast into another connection. This is a drama starter. Something about this person starting arguments. They're very petty. This is someone that if you don't give them the answer that they're looking for when they extend that olive branch, like they'll get pissed off at you. It's all about control with this person. This is somebody that was posting things to try to hurt you. They could have been posting pictures with a new person trying to hurt you. Something about you posting things like, this person purposely feels like you're trying to hurt them. See, it's all about what this person feels. Like everything that you say or do, they automatically think it's about them because that's how selfish this person is. And some of you guys are definitely in the public eye doing some things here and they're watching. And this is somebody here that is trying to figure out how to get you back. So this person's coming up with a, a, a plan that they feel like they can try to lure you back in. And something about this person being behind this fence here so this person's got some restrictions this is someone that wants to restrict you from moving forward as well there's something here about this person not being able to to head your way because there's someone else in the picture still well, this person man not a good one guys but this was sure for this was definitely part of a lesson for you to, to learn and you've definitely been alchemizing this so continue to do that there's something here about you Learning about being your own hero and not letting somebody try to come in here and put you on a pedestal anymore. Like you are the pedestal. You put yourself on the pedestal now. Leo. They ain't shh. I'm telling you there's something here about this person trying to say that you weren't nothing either. Somebody is a, a drawler, an, an artist, a painter. Like there's something here with that artistic side for somebody I keep getting. But this person ain't nothing to you anymore. And it's like they tried to convince everybody else that you weren't nothing to them either. Then why are they trying to get you back for? Make it make sense. Tell me more. Someone that hates on your gifts, man. They hate on your light. They hate on the magic. They hate on the power that you have. There's something about your gifts that I was getting earlier here. This person hates on it. This person hates on your spirituality. How dare you get better than me? How dare you be able to, to alchemize this energy? continue to do that you you shine a light on illusions you are the truth you seek the truth and you are the truth so this one likes to hate on you so they, they it's like someone who wants to come back in here and and put you back in darkness again guys tell me more hater something here about money this person could have depleted your finances somebody's an opportunist there's something about you getting money here that's significant about this person wanting to come back here this person could try to gift you something here but this person's definitely got their eyes on your life and the way it is right now tell me more what's a wolf in sheep's clothing man this person's going to try to come towards you like a little innocent lamb but they are a wolf tell me more it's like the way that this person the way that this um the way that that wolf is looking at flip it's like this person is like ready to, to get back in there and try to destroy all the work that you've done on yourself that's disgusting now all three of these wanted to come in reverse so you're the queen rising you're stepping into your power you're praised you're coming up you're in the spotlight this person doesn't want this for you how dare you get ahead of them how dare you do better than them like it's all of this person's ego man so continue to keep rising king queen status that you have right now so this person they, whatever they've been saying about you is not adding up. This person likes to make stuff up. They, and then they try to come back here and tell you that they didn't say that. They didn't do that. It's all about redirecting the focus back on them. And they, they'll try to, try to go back and uh, backwards and try to, you know, make a whole nother illusion up for what was said about you. A person has no facts on you and then bankrupt in reverse. This person wants you to think that they don't got no issues going on. This person sees that this person could have gave you credit issues. You may have had to file bankruptcy, something about bills. Like this person could have like 
especially if you guys lived in a household together, this person didn't want to help out with bills or they forced, they, they wanted you to pay all the bills. There's something here about this person not doing good financially while you were on the rise, guys. So something here about this person trying to make it seem like their life is together. It's not. This person's trying to come back here and and uh, feed off you. They like they want to drain your love, your time, finances for somebody here, definitely. So tell me more. This is a cyber bully. This is a keyboard warrior. Got somebody here that likes to talk a good game. Like, And there's something here about this person like hiding out in, in, in the community, like trying to get people's ears and, and gossip and say something to this person. Like, cause this person is very, they're skilled, but they're a skilled manipulator and they use it for darkness. So that's, they're smart. I'll give them that. But like I said, they use it for darkness. So this person, this person really likes to hide behind things and bully. It's a bully. And then they try to make it seem like they're not a bully when they are same stuff, different day with this person. They haven't changed at all. Continue remain unbothered. This person's trying to figure out how to bully you because you're so unbothered and you're doing better and you're winning at life and they are trying to figure out how to get back in your good graces here. This is somebody that likes to run over you guys. Some of you guys have some karmic friends, some people that you can't fully trust in your circle at this time and make sure that you are knowing who your people are because it's like this person is still connected to people that you're connected to. And it's like you've got some friends of yours that are getting information about your life and reporting back to this person about you. So just make sure. So if you've got friends coming up asking you what you've been doing going on if, with your life, pay attention to that. Because you've got somebody trying to fish for information. And some of your friends view you as competition. Some of you guys, your, your friends may have sucked with your lover or this person was flirting with your friends. So groupy energy this person there's something here about this person following the crowd having these groupies and something about this person trying to to regroup a, these group of people trying to come towards you you must be very powerful if you have to have a group of people try to come up against you guys so this person this person has this is something here about this person trying to figure out how to get you to trying to get other people to look at you differently here they are groupy you got some fans here now this person's trying to figure out, see, this person's trying to cry towards people now. So this person went around slandering your name and saying all these nasty things about you, and now they're crying to people. So this person may try to recruit somebody else to try to come and talk to you, because that's what this person likes to do. They, they work through other people as well. So this person's upset because you're no longer sad and hurt or upset over this person anymore. They would prefer you crying over them and being hurt, and you're not. You're doing better. So that's why they got to come in here and, and cry these crocodile tears to try to get you to miss them again. This person's got some bad karma. That's what I'm saying. There's something here about you being this person's karma. This person has really racked up some things for themselves. This person's been doing some, some pretty nasty things to people their entire life. But when they ran into you, like this is where this person's about to get hit with some things. Do not take this person back because this person will deplete you and you will take on their karma again, guys. So somebody wants to try to come back for finances. I keep getting this. This is an opportunist that's got their eye on you. Some of them could have said that you were the money hungry one, that you, something about finances that this person was trying to tell you, other people about you. Bad reputation, man. I'm telling you, this person tried to, to make you look bad. That you, you illuminate things. So just be your true authentic self. This person still wants you to have a bad reputation. They want you to stay in that, that box they tried to put you in. This person's got a bad reputation. There's something about you exposing this person. That's part of their karma as well as you exposing them for who they are. And you're not even doing anything. You're just healing. You are the truth. And somebody's got some money issues here. Somebody's karma is their finances to be depleted. So don't let this, this person trying to come back with this lack mindset with their finances not doing good because they're looking at you to fix it all. Somebody that wants to destroy all the hard work that you've done on yourself. I don't like this. Leo. So now this person wants to try to come back and put you in a fantasy land. It's like they got themselves stuck in a fantasy land. This is somebody here that you would tell them your dreams and what you want for your life. And they would try to tell you all oh, that's just you. You ain't never going to make that happen. Quit fantasizing. Quit doing this. Because they're doing that because they don't know how to do it for themselves. So they want to take it from you guys. But this person's trying to figure out put you in la-la land. They're going to try to tell you they're hopeless. They're falling apart. They're in despair. They would prefer you to be like this. They wanted you to feel this way. 
So they're trying to figure out how to get another chance with you. They see your opportunities. They want to return. Tell me more. I'm telling you, this person's spying. They, they're like studying you. They're trying to figure out the best way to come in here and try to get you to fall for these illusions again. But you good luck to them because you're. I'm picking up on somebody that's very gifted right now. Tell me more. This person's got some rejection issues. This person wanted you to have this fear, this doubt about yourself. They wanted you to feel dismissed. They wanted you to feel abandoned. They wanted you to feel left out in the cold. And now this person's feeling this way when it comes towards you. It's something about this person still trying to come your way and still make you feel this rejection because they feel rejected. So it's like they want to make you feel more rejection. This person, man, tell me more. Now they want to try to come back and confess something. They want to come clean. Okay. They they want to they want to they want to come and sweep you back off your feet and try to be that hero in your life. But here's here's what's going on now. You've applied the lesson and you are now your own hero. So this person, you put yourself on the pedestal. You don't need this person to do it. And this person knows it. That's why they're at their breaking point. It's like this person's pissed off that they even have to come towards you. Like, how dare you make them come towards you? This person, man. This person is overwhelmed watching you take off. They're at a breaking point. Very bitter. Mm -hmm. Very angry. Very resentful. Somebody that they're hurtful words, nothing that they say or do has any, um, has no, oh, I can't think of the word, has no, um, just doesn't affect your life at all. You could care less what this person says, does, like you're over it. And that makes this person more angry. You're in your ex ecstasy. You're in these excited times. You have these good things lining up in your life. And now you've got love headed your well, way as well. So this person sees you in ecstasy. I'm telling you, you've got new connections coming towards you. Somebody that's going to be devoted. That's because you're you're applying the lessons and you're learning. That's why you are attracting a better lover towards you. The past will try to convince you that they are devoted to you now, but you ain't going to trust it. Some of you guys have got a, a past life lover coming back into your life. And some of you guys, this past person was something from a past life. Like karma that you had to clear up from a past life. And you clearly have been doing that. So no longer repeating the patterns. Learning this karmic lesson and closing it out. Somebody is trying to figure out how to make you feel sorry for them. Depressed. They're going to say they're depressed. They're lost without you. They're grieving. This person is going to try every angle of emotions to try to work towards you. But none of it's going to work. This person wants you to be in sorrow. They're feeling butt hurt, so they want to try to come in here and put you back in this. They're shocked. They're shocked how you, what you're doing with your life. It was very unexpected. This person put a lot of turmoil in your path, and you were able to alchemize everything that they threw your way. Or anybody throws it your way, for that matter. You know how to, to transmute energy. That's beautiful. This person didn't realize who you were, and now they know now. They see it now. Leo. Bigger and better experiences are coming your way. You may not be able to see it, but great things are coming together for you as you read this. Trust the process and let it unfold in divine timing. Move forward knowing that all is working out just fine. In your journey, there will be times when you feel lost, confused, lonely, and angry. These are the times of transition. You won't feel those emotions forever. You are transitioning to a better, stronger version of yourself. Shed away those unneeded layers and keep growing. Absolutely. That's why this person's worrying too, because you're growing. You're going to be celebrating something very special soon. You'll be so full of joy and happiness. It will almost seem out of this world how suddenly it all happens for you. Be ready for it. Expect it. It's happening. Uh-huh. That's love. Everything's taking off for you guys. That's why this person's freaking out and trying to, to can get back in your good graces. Do not even be friends with this person. Because this is someone that will try to wiggle their way back into your life and they will cause destruction in your life guys because they're so pissed off that you are winning at life and they're they just don't have that mindset like you do so all right my beautiful leo that was your guys's message i hope that it helped and resonated if it did not please check back with me on sunday we'll do it all over again guys appreciate you guys so much light and love to you guys i'll see you guys later take care leo